Hello, this is Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Realtor. Well, today I'm in beautiful Boverde, Texas in the Vontana subdivision, kind of just north of the Bell Oaks community. This is a really nice community, and behind me is the former model home for MI uh, Homes. And it's on the market right now. It is just over 3,100 square feet, and the asking price is 600,000, and it's got a pool. Let's go check it out. All right, this house is located right at the very front of the Ventana community. So you do have the other model homes right across the street from them. Like I said before, this used to be a model home for MI, which is a really nice mid-range builder. This lot, uh, let me see. now because this is a former model home by MI, it is located in the front part of the community with these rest of the model homes. There you got Highland Homes right across the street. And uh, it's a really nice community in Bulverde. Right back behind us is 46. And this lot right next to us will never be built on and there won't be anything back behind them. So, uh, and because it's a model home, you get some beautiful landscaping already done. All right, let's head on inside and check out this gorgeous home. Nice entryway here. Definitely like the upgraded rock coming in. Beautiful eight foot door. Now this is a pre-existing home, so somebody has been living in it. So somebody bought this from MI and been living in it for a couple years. But you do have rooms right up front. This room they have been using as obviously their gym. Nice room, tall ceilings. Like I said, loving the eight foot doors. And you have another room right up front as well that they have been using as an office. This is a four bedroom house. And like I mentioned, they are asking just under 600 for it, mostly because it's got that big, beautiful pool in the back. Nice house. I thought I got all the toilet seats, but I missed this one. Sorry about that. But this is your nice powder room, sour combination. All right, coming in, you can see some really nice flooring. And before we go to the main area, definitely want to showcase what else is going on here, including the garage. We got a nice little mud room. Try not to show off their license plate, but a two car garage. All right, we got the laundry room. Nothing special about it, it's just a laundry room, but it does have a ceiling fan in it. Kind of neat, a little different. And this is what I would consider like your long term guest bedroom. So we're already into bedroom number three and stay toward the, I'm about to go upstairs. So don't leave the video right off the bat because there's a cool room upstairs, but uh, you do have a nice little full bathroom en suite. Let's go check out this shower. Oh, nice inset shower. And let's head to the main living area. Love what they did with this decorating with the oars. All right, coming into the main living area, this is kind of a one and a half story. Because upstairs is a really cool game, gaming area and movie area. But this is the main living space. Got a nice kitchen. A little slow panoramic view of the main living space with a fireplace and plenty of room to put your TV. All right, now I apologize, the last video I did, I did forget to check out the pantry and I remembered it right when I was leaving, but there you go, there's the pantry, just a corner pantry, nothing special. But they got your oven, built-in microwave, it's a gas community with a pot filler, because yeah, this was the model home. Check out these handles, that's a nice little upgrade. and cool pendant lights. 
It does have a stainless steel 50-50 sink, which, yeah. We got GE appliances. But they do have these, uh, the hardware all matching. There's not a formal dining room area. This is your breakfast nook slash dining space. And like I said, your living space. And this is another what could be office space or bonus area with behind the French doors. And a benefit of uh, having a pre-existing home is, man, check out these blinds. These shutter blinds are not cheap. So it's nice, a lot of new home builders, you don't get blinds included. Unless you pay extra for them. Ooh, I missed turning some lights on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead upstairs and I'll finish with the master bath. And after I do this upstairs party area, we'll check out the pool as well. All right, sorry about that little quick pause. I had to turn the music down. Uh, it does have built-in speakers up here and the radio was on and YouTube does not like having the radio on. Copyright infringement stuff. Okay, I don't see where, oh, that's probably, there we go. Now we got more lights. Well, first off, let me show the bathroom up here. A very spacious bathroom. All right, check out this party area. Beautiful barn doors, very nice touch. Plenty of space, put ping pong table, pool tables, entertainment, poker room, whatever you want. They got those upgraded blinds. And yes, you do have the speakers up there and a full movie theater room to include the shelf or the little step up area. So you have two couches set up and everybody can see the big screen. Now, they do not have a big screen in here, but imagine this with a 120 inch screen in there. There's a little light. But this is a really nice movie theater room where you can shut the doors and you won't tick off everybody in the house by having your movie up real loud. All right, let's head on back downstairs. They do have some power outlets in the ground. All right, let's head check out that pool. All right, back downstairs and you'll check out the pool now. Like I said, these shutters are kind of spectacular. All right, now this pool is only a year old. So you're essentially getting a brand new pool in a model home. With some nice separation behind you, which like I mentioned before, no one's gonna be building behind you. So this can be your own little retreat. You can hear it a little bit from Highway 46 as they're driving by. Maybe a little bit more when the big trucks come by. But that's a beautiful pool that they have built in and a nice little space for entertaining out here. All right, now we're gonna get the owner's suite. Some touch-up paint can be done, but that's easy peasy to fix. All right, let's check out this room. It's a good size room. Tall ceilings, built-in speakers. Hardwood floors throughout, but except for in the bathroom because there you got the tile. You got your water closet to our left. No need to show that. Dual vanities. No lights on the wall, but I've sold them in my home before. That's kind of common to them and a surprisingly cheap fix if you wanted to add some more light. I know electrician that can knock it out for you real quick, but check out this shower. This is an impressive shower where you have your wand and your rain shower and another wand. Very cool, all mud inset, so it's a step down. 
Let's check out the size of this closet. Nice closet going back underneath the stairs and then right there. Alrighty. Well, that's going to wrap up the tour of this house that's on the market right now as of mid-January 2022. If you're interested in this home, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. Homes are going super fast right now, so uh, be ready to jump once you see a house you're looking for. And if you're thinking about moving to the area and don't have a real estate agent, I'll be happy to help. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.